I wasn't going to do another video today, but I thought, screw it, because this is the type of people that really piss me off. And these are the type of people that, again, dangerous. This is Veggie Eric, so this is a response to you. Uh, he writes, do you have cancer? No, I've never had cancer. Uh, if not, why are you commenting on the Gerson therapy? Because the Gerson therapy does not work, has no evidence to back any of its scientific claims, and has no proof that it actually works. That seems a little, little self-righteous of you, don't you think? No, because quite frankly, I judge it as a public service. If I can basically convince, well, not convince, but tell people, do not do the Gerson therapy, it does not work, they don't have any science to back up any of their claims, and they decide not to go to the Gerson therapy and listen to their doctors instead, which will be far more beneficial for them than going on the Gerson therapy, then good. Are you a medical doctor yourself? No. But quite frankly, there is... M there is piles and mountains of evidence that say how the Gerson therapy does not work. It's in all my other videos about the Gerson therapy. Feel free to have a look through them. Uh, what do you do for a living that makes you a credible expert to be debunking anything? Well, quite frankly, anybody can really debunk anything. All you have to do is take the time to look to see what the various experts are saying and to see what the general scientific consensus on the subject would be tend to be, and guess what? The general scientific consensus is the Gerson therapy does not work, it has no evidence to back any of the claims it makes, and has never once actually proved, never once been a proven treatment for cancer. You get the gist now, Eric, surely. If it works for some people, then let it be, man. No, that's the thing. It's not working for most of these people. Most of these people are having conventional treatments and then going on the Gerson therapy and are then <coughs> basically going and saying, oh, look, the Gerson therapy worked, but even though they had conventional treatment, which is what cured them. And as a result, these people then go on and give their testimonials about how good the Gerson therapy was for them when it did absolutely nothing to cure them, when it was the conventional medicine that cured them. <sighs> There's no reason for you to be on here pissing on other people's personal choices when faced with cancer. And problem is, if it's your personal choice to go on the Gerson therapy, then good luck. But know this, the Gerson therapy does not work. And there is, as again, there is mounds and mounds of evidence you know, <coughs> go look it up, it's all there, in black and white, how it's harmful, the damage it might do, and yes, it even might cause death, depending on how much they dehydrate you. Uh, really think about that for a moment. Their fight with cancer is their own personal journey, and the Gerson, or any other natural therapy that is an option, like Dr. Brzezinski, for people who do not want to do chem chemo or radiation. Well, unfortunately, chemo and radiation will work a thousand times better than uh, Dr. Brzezinski or the Gerson therapy treatment. Again, they have absolutely no evidence to back up any of their claims, and they are fooling people, and yes, they are killing people. So quite frankly, you're, you're, you're annoyed about, about me? Why are you not annoyed about these people who are leading people astray on purpose to make money and not caring about them once they die? Because here's the thing. Dead men tell no tales. Anyone that went on the Gerson therapy and it wasn't successful has died. Hence, there are no people, living people almost, to say the Gerson therapy does not work. I was on it, it didn't work for me. Why? Because I'm dead. Now, there are a couple of people out there who, if you do go out there and look for it, you will find people giving testimonials about how the Gerson therapy did not work for them. Like, there was a woman who had who her, her cancer's growth just kept on growing and growing and growing. And the Gerson therapy kept on saying, oh no, it's just a healing reaction, it's just a healing reaction. It got to the point, and so bad, where she got taken into hospital and they had to give her emergency surgery. 
in fact, no, they had to give it, yeah, and not only emergency surgery, but radiation treatment as well to shrink it till they could take it out. So, yeah, effective, I don't think so. Stop trying to shoot down something you yourself are unwilling to give an honest try. No, because quite frankly, it doesn't work. It's that simple. Uh, stop asking um, others' opinions. Uh, I'm not asking for their opinions, I'm asking for their evidence. And that is completely different. <laughs> Do it yourself then and post your results. No, because again, it wouldn't work. And again, I don't have cancer, so again, I can't really subject myself to that. Um, oh, that's right, you don't have cancer and you're just on here crushing people's hopes for your own megalomaniac self-amusement. Um, if anything, it's these people that end up crushing people's hopes when their treatment doesn't work. It's carrot juice and enemas. Not too difficult. It worked great for me. Here we go. Personal story. Uh, I did coffee enemas every day. You know that long-term use of coffee enemas results in coitus. So good luck with that when that happens. Um, oh yeah, and the dehydration as well. That might also be something you might want to be looking out for. And help heart palpitations as well. So yeah. <coughs> be on the lookout for that. <sighs> yeah. Uh, they work so well that I still do one every morning for the last three years. Uh, I've had no adverse effects, dot, dot, dot. I'm pretty sure you do, but you might not want to admit it, or you might just think it's the healing reaction. Um, only good health and no more cancer. I also get uh, checked by a doctor to make sure everything is okay. Well, to be honest, good you're getting checked by a doctor... Because according to this, you state that you have um, a cancerous polyp in your colon. Now, for that, you would have to have regular checkups every so often. So I'm presuming that at some point, you've had surgery. Because if you haven't, then that polyp will have developed into da -da 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 cancer. And then you'd have had to add more treatment for that. But, you know... Hence why you are being checked out by a doctor. So, sorry, your personal story is again bullshit. Because I guarantee, Eric, you had conventional treatment. You just don't want to admit that's what worked. And then this is fun. On a side note, uh, the website Quack Watch is a known anti-natural therapy attack site. It is well known for being not credible, and yet everyone on Quackwatch is a registered, fully qualified doctor specialising in their fields, basically saying, hey, these alternative therapies and natural therapies do not work, here's why they do not work, here is the evidence to prove they do not work. At least base your argument on something other than Quackwatch or its affiliates. This site has had zero credibility. <sighs> and has had a b blasted bias towards profit-based industry standard treatments such as chemotherapy and radiation, which works. And what's this? An open heart surgery. Really? Open heart surgery? Are you telling me that there is a natural treatment? for open heart surgery? <coughs> I'm sorry, but that is hilarious. And you're telling me that I'm not the one that's qualified and that Quack Watch is not qualified? <sighs> sorry, but chemo radiation therapy work. Um, again, and guess what? Chemotherapy is being used less and less in breast cancer because there are new drugs that target the malignas in the breast. And again, it looks like those are being transferred over to other treatments of cancer, meaning that chemotherapy will be used less and radiation will probably take over because radiation can be more pinpointed to the area. But you know, that's only the actual things that's happening in the field of medicine, which you do not give a damn about. <sighs> Where are we? 
Uh, you'll have to do better than Quackwatch if you want to be taken seriously. Uh, you'll have to do better and actually try and disprove Quackwatch and probably try and disprove someone that has a medical MD in the field that you are trying to disprove. Again, uh, if you want to disprove that chemotherapy and radiation therapy and open heart surgery are completely wrong and that there's this natural way to cure it, guess what? There's a Nobel Prize in your future, Eric. You just have to provide the scientific proof and evidence that your theories work. And you have to have the standards to be able to prove it. And guess what? None of your quackery has been able to live up to those standards and, pro and provide the scientific evidence necessary to prove that their treatments work. That site has been a joke for years now. And that you've even affiliated with it. And that was, that's basically his end, and sorry Eric, um, you are deluded. Uh, sorry about that, but that's the truth. Uh, and you need to hear the truth, because these people that are pushing your natural woo-woo on you are completely 100% wrong. Maybe you should ask your doctor, who's checking you regularly, why the key, why the treatment that he give he gives his he has given you works and why the Gerson therapy doesn't work. Ask him next time you see him.